You know when people say, <laughs> I don't believe my own eyes. And because you've seen something and it just is like, no, this is not possible. Well, last year, and it, I've, this has happened many times. I mean, not this particular incident, but I have been in a position where I can barely believe what I'm seeing. So last year, this is one, we're walking back. I don't know where, where we'd been, but we were walking back and we're on the north side of Central Station. So you have this long strip where you can enter the station or you have a number of shops and things and bins and whatever. And we're just walking and in front of us, about uh, 15, 20 meters in front, I just noticed a dog. Uh, and the reason I noticed the dog is because the dog is taking a dump and it's taking, is doing this as people come out of one of the exits of the station. And I mean, a lot of people have dogs and dogs do their business and they clean, people clean it up. However, this dog did its business and the owners, <laughs> a lady and this guy, they were sort of just looking around like, do, 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 do. And so I don't know what happened in our heads, but as we, we got close to them, it was clear that they had no intention of cleaning this up. So we said, hey, excuse me, your dog just did its doo-doo there, so aren't you going to clean it up? And my goodness, what happened? This was, a, this was sort of like a Karen-ish kind of defense. Oh, that's not ours. We didn't do it. And I'm saying, I ju it was still steaming, this steaming turd. And I said, we just saw you do this thing. And the guy, I think he, I don't know, he sort of stood back and mumbled a little. But the lady was ferocious. And at a point, I said, well, you're lying. How dare you call me a liar? She completely exploded in a rage. And I was thinking, am I mad? There were other people there. There was um, uh, one of the windows looked into, uh, I don't know if it was a Starbucks or one of those kind of coffee-like places. And I saw two people looking out of the window, talking. They saw, I mean, people saw this. And I wondered, what on earth had driven this lady to feel, I mean, these things happen. A dog is going to take a dump from time to time. And if you don't want that, then don't get a dog, get a robot or something. But it's almost as if the fact that it was so public, it, uh, it was just too much to handle. And so she went into full denial mode, but in a way that this is how kids of five and six, you know, when they've done something wrong and they, <laughs> they spin a story together that makes absolutely no sense because you've just seen them do the very thing they're claiming not to have done. But this is a grown-up lady and she's defending and defending and eventually the guy, you know, she's raging and the guy, I think his conscience, because he knows, he, he was there, he saw the dog do it and I think he also felt a bit uncomfortable. Um... And he stepped in. This could be one of those cases where, do you know how the ego or pride doesn't let you say sorry or put your hands up and say, okay, my bad. It's just that it's so, I don't know if it's shame. I have no idea what the machinery is within the mind that's causing it. But this lady uh, maintained innocence, even though the evidence was right there. And it was just something that, uh, I remember I wrote, I think I wrote a little poem about it. It was so bizarre. I, I, I don't know where the poem is, it's somewhere, but it was, what would you do this? I get it if nobody was around, but everybody saw her. Everybody saw the dog do what it did. And, um, and of course, the poor dog can't get involved in the whole discussion and sort of put its paws up and say, look, uh, clean this. Anyway, I think they uh, eventually cleaned what needed to be cleaned. And we moved on um, completely bedazzled and confused by the owner's attitude.